Hey, what's going on, guys? We're going to talk about StreamYards, okay? StreamYards is a program you can use to live stream for Facebook, LinkedIn, or YouTube, okay? Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube platforms, you can use StreamYards. You need to create an account first, so let me go and show you that. Okay, so go to StreamYard.com, S-T-R-E-A-M-Y-A-R-D.com. Then you're going to create an account for free. Type in your email, say get started, all right? Now let's go ahead and show you the plans they have. Again, it's free. There are limitations to the free plan. The free plan has a small StreamYard logo, which is a goose at the top right. And then there's a streaming limit of 20 hours per month, okay? Or you can go with the basic plan, which is the most popular. There's no streaming logo. And there's unlimited streaming. You can choose your own logo. You can choose your own overlays, backgrounds, RTMP destinations. You can record up to four hours. And then you can multi-stream to two different locations. And then they have a professional $50, $49 a month version with some extra stuff as well. Longer recording time and more multi-streaming locations. Okay, so I have the basic version, and then you can also do an annual, if you switch it, there's annual versus uh, monthly, you can change that, okay? All right, so after you create an account, you're gonna click on, you're gonna be here with destinations, and you're gonna say add a destination. I already have my YouTube channel linked, but I'm gonna click on this and show you. You can do Facebook page, Facebook group, Profile, Twitch, Custom RTMP, LinkedIn, Profile, Event, Page, YouTube Channel, and Periscope. Okay, so you're going to click on Create a Broadcast to start off. And if you want to do a different location, you can do that here. You can click on your current one. You're going to give it a title. I'm going to say Test, Description, Test, Choose the Privacy, Public, Unlisted, or Private. I'm going to go with Unlisted. And you can also schedule it for label later. You can upload a thumbnail and then you can put in the date and time. Now, the thing here is that if you're gonna go live right now, the problem is that it's going to use your current banner, your current channel art banner as your, your logo, as your thumbnail for the live stream. So you're going to have to go and edit your thumbnail and you will have to edit your tags because there is no tags using StreamYards. So I'm gonna click create a broadcast and then I'll show you the features within, I'll show you the features within here. Okay, the first thing you do is display name, type in your name. I already typed it in, it's already in here. Okay, you have mute, stop cam, and then there's settings. You can do audio settings, green screen. If you have a green screen, I don't. You can choose different ones, or you can say none and just have your own. And then you're gonna say enter broadcast. Okay, now you have to actually add yourself to the stream yards. You're gonna click on add to stream. So now you're added to the screen. And I wanna show you before you hit go live, if you go into your channel, you go to studio, go to videos, then go to live as a thumbnail, but the tags are not here. They're gonna be missing. So the titles here, the descriptions here, but I have to change the thumbnail to something that I want. And then you see there's no tags. I'd have to enter in the tags. I have two buddy, that's why you see all this other stuff. Okay, so you have to change the thumbnail and enter in the tags. Then you'll hit save. Test, save, and then you can change it if you wish. Okay, so we're still not live yet, okay? We're still not live. I actually have to hit the go live button. So I'm gonna hit go live. If you're ready to go live, you hit go live. I'm not gonna do it yet. 
I just want to show you the options that they have here. The comment's going to come through and it's going to come through slow. So it does say, take some time. Now I'm going to hit go live because I'm going to uh, join the live stream on my phone. Banners. You can add a banner, say subscribe to the channel or welcome. You can change the coloration of this stuff too. If you don't want blue, you can choose black, whatever color you want. You could say minimal or default. The logo, if you don't pay for the, if you're not paying for it, it's gonna be this logo, the goose at the top right, powered by StreamYard. If you don't want that logo, you have to pay $25 a month or $20 a month, and you can change the logo around. If you wanna overlay, you can add an overlay. And then you can do a background as well. You can change the background. Mute your microphone, stop your camera, settings, screen share, invite, and leave studio. So let me go live here. I'm going live, but I'm unlisted, so nobody else sees me. Okay, so I'm live. I'm going to go on my phone. I'm going to need the StreamYards link. So if you want to share your StreamYards, your live stream with other people, you're going to click on invite. Okay, so you can copy the StreamYard link and email it to somebody or send it to somebody in Messenger. When you invite somebody, you give them the link and then they will come up at the bottom right there. So you see that they're down here on the bottom. That's me at the bottom. I'm joining with my phone. Okay. So I have to allow that person to come in. So I'm going to accept myself and say add to stream. All right, so now I'm added to the stream. And I'm gonna chat in here. Test, uh, I did a private chat. So I did a private chat. There's different views that you can do. You can do this one, double. You can do a wider view. You just click on the views view options here. And the last one is to share your screen. There's a uh, private message. Now, if I wanted to remove me or remove that person, I would click on the three little dots and I can say, edit their name, kick them from studio or ban them. So I'm gonna kick them. If you wanna prevent them from rejoining, you should ban them instead. I'm just gonna kick them. All right, so I was just kicked. I kicked myself from StreamYards. Okay, wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to show you how to share your screen and also allow music. So I'm in the live stream. I'm going to write some stuff in here. So I just said test. I'm going to show you how long it takes. It takes a little bit of a while for the, the comments to filter through. Now you can click on them and that, that logo will appear. Now there's probably about a five to 10 second delay on the chat room. Just keep that in mind. And also if somebody, if you are a monetized channel, if somebody super chats you, the super chat messages will filter through, but not the super chat stickers. Super chat stickers will not filter through, okay? You're doing a really good job with this how-to video. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, so there you go. All right, that is the, that's the chat room. If you don't want the message to appear, you just click off of it. If you want the message to appear, you click on it, all right? Now, as far as sharing the screen, you're gonna click on share screen at the bottom here. And then if you wanna share your audio, you hit share audio, whatever audio you have on your computer. There's also application window if you just wanna show a certain window you have open or a certain tab. So I usually say entire screen, share the audio, and then share screen. Okay, so now I'm sharing my screen. So whatever I'm looking at, that's what they see. Now, if I wanna actually show my screen, I need to shrink, I need to shrink it down. So I shrink it down, so now this is what they're gonna see. Now, if you wanna add music to it, I already have uh, copyright free music. 
you can go to YouTube Studio and download copyright free music, and then you could just play whatever you want. And then you can just shrink the screen and do whatever you want to do. There you go. It's playing on my phone. That's really simple to use StreamYard. It's really not difficult. You just have to get used to it. All right, so if you want to stop sharing your screen, you just say stop sharing your screen. But you can also have yourself showing in the corner here. You can show, have yourself showing in the left and have your screen uh, showing. So if you're going to have yourself showing on the left, just make sure that you minimize this and you'll still be shown on the left, showing whatever you're showing. All right. That's about all I could think of with StreamYards. All right, guys, I hope that helped you. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Take it easy, guys.